internet. This is for you, your message. It's the first one on the channel. And I really hope there will be many more, but that is not in my hands, it's in the hands of God. As background, the channel started on the 21st of May, 2021. Now that's a day which means a lot to me. It's the day that um, I lost somebody I loved. And it was also seen to me as a new beginning. And so on the 23rd of May, we posted the first recordings. It really feels long ago. Uh, since then, I would say the channel has completely taken over my life. But that's fine. It's all fun and games. It was a journey where I've met really fantastic people. And I want to thank all of them, everybody who participated here, as well as those who looked at the views, those who uh, made comments, sensible comments. I can tell you, I, I look back and I think to myself that South Africa produced some fantastic soldiers. Um, policemen, academics, you know, as, as a nation, I think we can be proud of what we achieved. I also realized that there was a need for this type of program. It seemed to me that the veterans really needed to tell their story. And I understand why. I mean, I've been on the border five or six times and, uh, I know that when you came back, nobody could be bothered on what happened there or what didn't happen. And you could never really speak up. Uh, you were basically ignored if you, if you spoke up. Uh, I, I got the feeling actually that no one cared in South Africa on what was happening. And that's fine too. And then of course there were the secrecy reasons, especially the people in special forces and, and other units, of course. Uh, could not speak out for obvious reasons. But mostly I think it was also about common decency. You know, it's natural to a man to protect his loved ones. And part of that protection isn't just physical, it's also to keep quiet on what you've seen and experienced. So it's understandable. But the negative of this, the same for silence was that only one side of the story was heard. And then in the 90s, I will never forget, suddenly you had these books coming out. And they were all so politically correct. You know, there were no people who supported apartheid in the 1990s. Everybody was secretly actually an activist. We just didn't know about it. And of course, it kept very quiet in those days. And I also have to say that the army and the police were not that good in countering uh, propaganda. In fact, they were really, really, really bad at it. They were too honest. And so the one-sided truth, if you can call it that, was abused most thoroughly by lesser people, you know, the politicians, the clergymen were suddenly suddenly changed 180 degrees overnight. And then there were those who ran for their pensions. And they created scapegoats. And they started pointing fingers and it was really not them. It always came from above. And no one took responsibility as far as I'm concerned. And that also created a wall of silence. But I can tell you that silence is now over. I think the time is now to start talking. And the reason for that is that if you hear both sides of a story, that's when you can make an informed judgment. And I'm not scared of being judged by history. If you've written any book or has been on any program like this, you are going to be judged. But that's fine. As long as people understand there's two sides to a story. And you cannot ban one side of a story and then think you're going to get to the truth. Because if you do that, you will have a wrong history. It's like I said in many of my books, if you have a wrong idea of history, let me put it to you in practical terms. Let's say you have to make a breakfast for your wife and you know 
because that's what you believe, that your wife actually likes scrambled eggs on toast. But in fact, your wife hates uh, scrambled eggs. She doesn't like scrambled eggs and she doesn't like toast. Then what's going to happen is you're going to bring her scrambled eggs and toast. She's not going to like that. And that's a problem with history when it's falsified or when only one side is heard. It's not the truth. And that's why I think that this journal is actually important. It's not about me. Really, it's not about me. It's about you. It's about the people who talk here. I think it's good for them. And I think it's good for you to hear what they have to say. And it's good for you to participate. Ask your questions. And mostly, we come back and we answer the questions. And of course, we honor those who serve. I recall being on the border more than once on Christmas, as well as on New Year. And of course, you're thinking of home. And the Tunis, the aunties from the Southern Cross, bless their souls, would give us parcels, even in the police. We got some parcels, very nice gifts, and we were very grateful. Some of us got mail, and some of us, like me, almost never got mail. But regardless of that, we carried on, because that's what men do. We carry on. And that, my friends, is perhaps a new year message I have for you, to carry on regardless of what's happening around you. Because what's happening around you is really an upside-down world. I think we live in times of mass media panic and something called fear porn, which is coming at us from every direction. And you know, it's not by chance, it's by design. And it is heading somewhere where it's dark, in every sense of the word. And so you will have to decide what you want to hear and what is worthy of ignoring. I am expecting a clampdown on freedom of speech, freedom of expression. It will continue unabatedly. I expect food, fuel, living costs will rise dramatically. Just this morning, I read a newspaper article that said IKEA, now that's not a brand which is famous in South Africa, but it's like a big furniture store across the world. They suddenly raised some of their articles prices by 50%, 5 zero. That's not by chance either. And if you look what happened in the last few three years, which let's make it two years since the pandemic and the panic started, you will see a lot of laws came out those which will dramatically reduce your freedoms. And you know what? It's being implemented. There's no such thing as a law being promulgated which will not be implemented. That's why it's so dangerous. And that's why I say to you, we have to carry on. Of course, I hope to be wrong. But you know what? I might not be. And this channel on YouTube is on the threat. You don't know half about it. You don't know all the letters we get, the threats we get. And I'm tired of it. And therefore, we created a backup at Rumble. Now, Rumble might not be known to you, but Rumble is a conservative type of uh, platform. It's very open for freedom of speech. You can hear both sides there, actually. While... Uh, all those things which you cannot hear at mainstream is probably on Rumble. Now, that's not to say it should be abused. It's not to say it's all true. All I'm saying is you should hear both sides of a story before you judge. And that's not happening in mainstream at the moment. You might wish to read the blog which I wrote. I'll give you the links below. I'll give you the links of Rumble as well below. And see what I have to say about what's happening in the world today. It's fascism. And that's an ugly word, because that's what Hitler did. That's what Mussolini did. And if you should read our sponsor's book, Oath of Evil, The War on Protestantism, you will quickly find out where that idea comes from and where we're heading again. But you go and read it, and you make up your mind after hearing all the arguments. So what we need to do here is how it's going to work is we will keep on YouTube, but we will have a backup running on Rumble. It's your choice which one of the two you look at. 
and spread the word. Tell your friends about it. The more people looking at this, the better. But there might be some videos only on Rumble, because I believe that at Rumble I have more freedom of speech. It might be that I have a guest here who wants to talk about something which is sensitive, and I cannot put that on YouTube, will be banned. And so we'll put it on Rumble. So YouTube will not disappear until it's made to disappear. And I'm hoping that will never happen. But we have to be, as I said in the old days, parat. The only way which you will know what's happening at YouTube is for you to subscribe to one of the two websites, either George M. James or at LegacyConversations.org. I'll give you the links as well. They're underneath all the videos. That is where I can send to you directly to your email. I can send to you a message. I cannot do it on YouTube or on. I don't know who you are. I don't know how to contact you. So you might arrive at YouTube and legacy is not there. Well, if you've been in uh, on the subscription list at one of those two websites, which I mentioned, you will know what's going on. So you have to subscribe. Your email address will not be abused. You will not receive spam messages from me ever in your life. And you can opt out of it as well. But that's the only way I can contact you. So on a positive side, we've been very negative now about the future, but on a positive side, we have really a great line of people already scheduled to record in the coming year. We will strive and do our best to bring you good stories and to assist each other through legacy partners, legacy legal, and the format will not change. It is my belief, and I said it from the beginning, that the serviceman, the guest, should speak as long as he wants to, or she. That's perhaps what makes us different, because you cannot really know why a guy comes from, where a man comes from, if you don't know where he grew up. So we're looking at the entire story. We're not looking at just, okay, let's talk about this battle. That to me is a bit fishy, because I want to know more than just that. Nevertheless, we have something now created, and I must thank Kevin Johnson for this, the Free to Battalion fellow. He's really doing sterling work in the background. He came up with an idea of something called a fireside chat. And that is where we will bring people together who were at the same battle, perhaps in different units, and hear their views. On the 10th of January, we have one of the first of these coming out. Uh, that is on Ops Super, I believe. And it will be Neil Ellis, a helicopter pilot, as well as two free to battalion members. And they're talking about what happened that day. And it's fascinating. So we're going to have fireside chats as well. And if we get other good ideas, we will implement that as well. And if we have bad ideas, we will stop doing it. But we're not going to stop the program. I think we've gone too far for that. So let me say to you here at the end, let us not bow down. Let us not bow down to the fear mongering and the fear mongrels of mainstream. It is written. But even if a thousand will fall from your left and 10,000 to your right, you'll be fine. We will put our faith in God. All what you see around here was predicted. And we know what will happen at the end anyway. And if we stand strong, we will survive. And those who is going on like we're going on right now will stand exposed. As the occultists, they are. And I hope they will be ashamed at that day. And on means of the kids in Africa, that's by a means of what we say, quiz. Well, for doing a very good in English. If you, that is my host, is a kiss in what's a tall and that it will do. As it will do in Africa, of English, of all two, it is welcome. But on the other hand, we will do it, means that we will be able to do it from the sock still. In the first way we can do it from the sake of the sake, is to do it in English, and with so many more people who are schuldig. It can be understood. And as you look at the first video, you can see how many comments there were 
waar ons my vraag, asjeblief kan ons met in Engels kry, of tenminste Engelse subtitles, ek weet nie wat die woord in Afrikaans nie vergewe my, maar dit is hoe kom ons het primair in Engels doen. Maar ek het nie een probleem as ek gas in Afrikaans wil praat nie, trots Afrikaner, boerkie, dis ek. So I wish you the very best for the coming year. Ek wens jou alles terwe toe vir die jaar wat kom. My all your dreams come true. En ek bedoel dit, mag al jou drome waar word. Ek dank julle vir die tyd wat julle hier spandeer saam met Wege sê. Word deel hiervan. Kom praat met my. Kom vertel jou story. Bring vir my mense. Stuur vir ons foto's. Kom ons kyk hoe ons mekaar kan help. Geseende jaar voor en toe. Happy New Year. Tot ons weer ontmoet. God sien. Until we meet again, God bless.